So it's basically a top from bottom re redesign. Uh, we've always been happy with the tubes on the Grafter, the Glider and the Swift range, uh, but we felt there were some improvements that we could actually make on the functionality of the poles and make uh, heads more interchangeable and a little more user friendly. The starting point at the bottom end of the pole here, uh, we've got that rather than having the hoses trailing out and having to coil those back up. So from having a detachable hose, the hose is kept onto the hose reel and reeled back into the vehicle and then attached back onto the pole as you're working. So as we know, when you're trailing hoses across the ground uh, and you, with a plastic tile fitting, of course you're going to get wear on the hose. So rather than having this as a one part fitting, we've actually got this as a two part fitting because the area that's going to wear as it's been dragged is the bottom part here. So that's actually removable. So you can actually take that aspect off. So that part can be replaced on its own. And that's pennies to replace. And that's obviously a part that's a good symbol. What we don't want to do is have to replace the other part. So that slots into there like that. Pull the collar back, slots into the pole. So, having a spring loaded clamp, uh, we've incorporated a chamfer into the top, so you've actually got more room for adjustment on the loads as you're clamping the tubes down. So, having a more adjustment on there is less prone to, to spinning. On the angle crank, We've got the lever on here for adjustment, but you can see that it actually locates, so there's no movement of that lever, so they can can uh, be in the way to catch onto onto uh, sills, things like that. It is obviously located right in close to the body there. On the brush heads, we're having them as removable. You can actually change the orientation of the brushes. It slots in there as a positive, so you can either have it in fixed position like that. Turn it 90 degrees. It slots in. You can have it to go through Juliet balconies. So you position that. Or if you wanted to have it as a swivel brush, you can then have it set to that kind of position. That's a great idea. So if you need to be clean above conservatories or canopies and get the windows to the right, of course you're going to want to get into the right kind of angles so that you can get right up into the corners. So it gives you best all-round flexibility to be able to use your brush. Three different size goosenecks, the standard 9 inch, there is a 15 inch and a 26 inch.